2017 was the second warmest year on record and monitoring of sea surface temperature data is crucial to understand these warming trends. Hi, my name is Anne O'Carroll from UMETSAT. I work on sea surface temperature data, including from the Sentinel-3 satellites. It's been two years since the launch of the Sentinel-3A satellite, the first satellite in this series. It's been an exciting time working together with colleagues across Europe to ensure the best possible sea surface temperature data. As a reminder, the instrument from this satellite that derives sea surface temperature is the sea and land surface temperature radiometer. It has a dual view through the atmosphere and is a self-calibrating instrument enabling high quality sea surface temperature retrievals. 2017 saw a number of interesting oceanic and weather events and sea surface temperature data including from Sentinel-3 is really important for monitoring these changes and to understand the impacts worldwide. So 2017 was the second warmest year on record and it was the warmest year on record without El Nino events in the equatorial Pacific. So sea surface temperature for Sentinel-3 is really important for monitoring and understanding these warming trends, for understanding the health of our planet and for contributing to climate change and prediction research. Satellite data from Sentinel-3 is also really important for monitoring and looking at the changing sea ice extents in the polar regions. The sea ice extent for the Antarctic has just reached its minimum level for this year and is the second lowest extent on record. So sea surface temperature data from Sentinel-3 can be used to monitor the anomalies in this region and also to look at surface temperatures of sea ice and on that ice. 2017 also saw a major hurricane season in the tropical Atlantic. Warmer than usual sea surface temperature anomalies were seen and this contributes to the formation of the hurricanes. So it's very important that we monitor these sea surface temperatures in this region and they're used crucially as input to the hurricane forecasting of the tracks and the intensities. We are now looking forward to the launch of the second Sentinel-3 satellite, the Sentinel-3B satellite, and this will complete the mission and mean that we have a greater coverage of sea surface temperature data that can be used as input for weather forecasting and ocean monitoring.